Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The broad trend during the next 10 days is for low pressure to the west, bringing occasional wind and rain. High pressure closer to the east, bringing drier weather and warmer weather. In fact, a taste of that during Wednesday and into Thursday with low pressure close to Iceland, high pressure over the continent, sandwiched in between over the UK, something called a waving weather front. Now that's simply a cold front that develops a kink, a warm front that tries to push the front in the opposite direction. So it makes it slow, it makes it erratic in its movement and it often produces bouts of fairly heavy rainfall. That means it's going to be a wet start on Thursday in the west before the rain slowly and erratically moves its way eastwards. Potential for some heavy rain to occur across central parts of the country Thursday afternoon. But because of its slow movement, East Anglia in the southeast likely to stay largely fine with temperatures approaching 20 Celsius, whilst the west will eventually clear the rain and be replaced by showers. Now the front essentially fizzles out by the time it moves through the southeast and it clears away into the North Sea at the start of Friday. Much of the country then fine for a time, but the next weather front starts to move in during the afternoon and that will bring again bouts of heavy rain for Scotland, western parts of England and Wales as well as Northern Ireland and a freshening breeze. But like the first weather front, this one starts to peter out as it moves its way eastwards. Again, it runs into an area of high pressure over the continent. And by the start of Saturday, over south and eastern parts of the UK, it's not likely to be much more than an area of cloud and patchy rain and drizzle. And even that clears away, leaving many places with a lot of fine weather to start the weekend. But you'll notice the next weather system gearing up to the northwest of the UK. Again, low pressure to the west of Britain and weather fronts moving in as we end Saturday. So it's likely to turn wet and windy across western Scotland and Northern Ireland Saturday night. Risk of gales in places before the rain moves into central areas of Britain by Sunday. But Sunday itself, that weather front moves up against this area of high pressure. And again, we find ourselves in a situation where we've got a waving weather front. Cold fronts wanting to move in that direction, being pulled backwards by warm fronts. And actually, the isobars drop out. And that means there's not going to be a wind to push it in either direction. It essentially becomes stuck over the UK. What does that mean for our weather? Well, across central parts of Britain in particular on Sunday, it's likely to be largely cloudy. A broad area of cloud, outbreaks of rain as well. On and off, and a lot of it, light rain. But the potential for pulses of heavier and more prolonged rain to affect southwestern parts of Britain in particular. Either side of the front, and there's going to be some uncertainty in its exact position, but it's likely to be a lot drier and brighter across southeastern parts of Britain and the northwest as we end the weekend. Fast forward 24 hours and <laughs> little change. We've still got this broad area of cloud and outbreaks of rain straddling central parts of Britain. We've still got this waving weather front sat over the center of the, the country. And actually looking at it on a map like this, it's fairly small in comparison to two much bigger players as we start next week. And those are this deep area of low pressure close to Iceland and this large developing area of high pressure sat over the continent. And this high pressure is going to be establishing itself as something called a blocking high, which essentially means it's so big and powerful it blocks weather systems from moving in from the west. And we end up in a battleground situation where Low pressure will want to throw weather fronts our way throughout next week, but high pressure will block those weather fronts from moving in. We are right on the boundary between the two. Fast forward a few days, this is the 30th of September, from just one possible outcome from the computer models. And it shows, again, low pressure in roughly the same place near Iceland. It's the same low pressure, the same high pressure out to the east. And you'll notice that the isobars are a bit closer together for northwestern parts of Britain. And that means that it will be breezier here with occasional outbreaks of rain. Whereas for the southeast, the isobars are more widely spaced and the flow will be from the south. So it could be fairly warm and, and bright at times. But this kink here indicates a possible weather front trying to get in from the west. So we're 
We're going to be in between areas of high pressure and low pressure throughout the next 10 days. Weather fronts will try and push in from the west. They'll be blocked to the east. And that means that on the whole, a blocked weather pattern persists until the end of September. It will always be driest in the east. There'll be some sunshine. It will be warm at times, although with some chilly nights, always possible. Windier in the west, particularly in the northwest, there will be some rain at times, but that rain likely to fizzle out if it ever reaches the east.